And Aaron, from your point of view, um, obviously a tricky time, isn't it? Is this maybe the trickiest time in your career you can remember? Um, no, not really. Um, I've had many of trickier times, but um, I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident. I really am. Um, obviously frustrated after the other night. It would have been nice to have had five games unbeaten. But um, it's a fine line. It's a fine line. Um, there were certain parts which we weren't happy with our game the other night, mm. but other parts we were very happy because, like anything, normally when you, you try new things and you want to improve, you have an area where and a period where it doesn't quite work out and need to learn, you need to go back and build on it. So that's where we were at, I think, in, in terms of building. We still need to build. There's new players come in. There's players come back for fitness. Um, and it's certainly a building process still. Yeah, and um, what's the mood like in the, in the changing room? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's good within reason. You know, obviously we want to win. Um, obviously we want to get back, um, you know, and, and get up this table. It's not going to be easy. You said the other night the team turned up and they just tried to build us off the pitch. Um, so we've got to find ways for that not to happen again. Um, and um, so, yeah, obviously we're not going to be happy, but you have to keep the spirits high and you have to find ways. So it's not a case that we don't care, we do care. You know, <laughs> for myself, I wouldn't be here if I didn't care, if I didn't want to win. Um, so, and, and it counts for everyone else, whether it's one of the young lads coming through on loan to, to, to an older pro like myself who's looking to. Uh, you know, have a good few years in football still. Mm. And, and a lot of players, a lot of fans rather, have been saying that uh, when you arrived, things started to improve. You're just the sort of influence uh, that, that the team needed. Is that the way you see it? Bringing, using your experience and stuff like that as, as a key to getting you out of this position? It's part, part possibly of the process and part of what's going on. But um, it's not a single player, which you know, I think influences wins. And, and you know, I think it's, it's collectively, everyone has to react and, and show that they're willing to do it. Um, you know, words are cheap, actions speak louder than words and, and I'm I'm much about that. You know, I, I'm probably known, if you know people I know I can talk to the cows coming and um, you know, that, that's where I'm but what I realise is that, you know, it, it's important that as much as talking that can go on that you need to show the action and you need to do it. You know, we all know that there's still was it twenty seven games to go, is there? Possibly twenty six, twenty seven. That's quite a lot of games, but we can't wait for you know, 10 games to go before we turn it on. It has to happen now. Um, and we have to start putting in better performances um, to win games. Yeah, and on a personal level, uh, despite what's going on on the field, are you, you enjoying your time at Yeovil? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I really do. Um, I've said for many years, I want to play top list. I'm 40. Um, it's been quite difficult over the last few years with the situation at Swindon. Um, but I still love it. I love playing. I love being here. I'm quite away from home, but that's because I want to keep playing football. Um, and my wife's quite understanding, which is good. Um, I was, I might not be here, but um, yeah. So it's, um, yeah, I love it. Really good squad, nice people. Make me feel really welcome, which is really appreciated. And but you know, make make, make no uh, mistake that we I'm here, and the players are here to improve and to start winning games. So um, that is that is a serious part. Yeah, in your contract situation, is it January that you're initially contracted to? Are you, yeah. Would you be happy to extend that? Is that something that's discussions are ongoing or anything? Um, I've, I'm literally getting on with my job. Um, I, I'm the same. I always have been, have been the same. I sign a contract, I get my head down, I work. Um, you know, I've signed a contract, I've agreed that I've, I'm happy with that, and I move on until the, the time the manager or anyone else says that you know they'd like to or not like to. Um, then so be it. But um, up until then, um, I'm just going to concentrate on winning and, and hopefully getting this club up the league. Yeah, and Northampton next up, that's a tough game. They haven't lost in a while. They're right up at the top of the table, aren't they? Um, in a way, though, does that help? Does it play into your hands in, in respect that the pressure will be on them? Nobody will be expecting you to go there and win? Well, um, hope so. Hopefully they can feel the pressure because um, sometimes it's funny how football works at times and so do what I've experienced over the years. Uh, sometimes you need a game like this to get going um, as much as it might not look on paper like we lost and they're on a, a good run at the minute and things going on there but sometimes that can work in our favour so we've got to build on that and excuse me we, we've got to really um, prepare as well as we can to make sure we get that win yeah and what do you expect from them I mean as a team are you surprised by their start to the season at example for example um, do you know what if, if I'm being brutally honest I've never kicked a ball in league two until two games ago so um I'm not overly up to date with, with many players or teams in this league. Um, I've seen from the league that they've done well. I know a few players who, who have played, who are playing there, who are doing well. But 
um, yeah, it's, it's like any level. If you, if you start getting momentum, you know, um, winning's, a, winning's a habit. And it, 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 it's the same in any level you play at. So um, we need to get into those habits and, and consistently um, and Im improve our level within that um, and combat people who are in that zone and, and, and winning. So, um, you know, it's going to be the same approach in terms of we're going to do as much as we can. We, we, we're fully aware of what, um, what, what what they're going to bring or will do before the game anyway when we do when we go through all the procedures and um, and hope that we can get three points. Mm.